I love watching all these big YouTubers stay at the craziest five-star hotels in the world. I want to do that as well. But then I looked at my subscriber count and realized it was a little bit above my budget, unless I stay here, the cheapest five-star hotel in Europe. I made it all the way to Warsaw, Poland, just to rate this place. I'm gonna rate it on luxury level, service, their facilities, and restaurants to see if they actually deserve this five-star rating. Okay, first impressions are absolutely amazing. I'm here to check in. First, I'm here in Warsaw. I'm excited for it. You came uh, for some kind of a game or uh, some concert? No, 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 just to see the city, actually. Thank you so much, Mateus. I appreciate it. Much. There we go, guys. Second floor. Elevator is already waiting for me. I'm renting hotels right now in Poland. Who would have thought from a cheap flight series to this? Um, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> nice little king size bed, TV, chairs. I also got a. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, wait, what? Oh, my God. I think I just broke the curtain. Okay, that. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna be charged for that. Oh God, I'm already breaking things here. Fortunately, I don't really have a nice view. These chairs are a little bit old, like there is a little bit of damage. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there are quite a lot of small stains around here on this bigger chair. Now let's check out how clean it is under the bed. I don't really see any spots. I think we're off to a great start. If I had to rate how clean the room was and how it looks, I would say four out of five, because the furniture and stuff is a little bit outdated, but still very nice though. Now let me show you guys around in the bathroom, toilet, shower, sink, free water. I'm liking this. The bath. This thing is absolutely huge. Oh, and in case you wondered how I got this sparkling water, I had to test out the speed of the room service. Hi, could I please order a sparkling water and the dumplings, please? They don't have the dumplings, which is like the classic Polish food. Like, I really wanna try that. Now, on average, hotel rooms take about 20 to 30 minutes. This is just a sparkling water that I ordered. So let's see how long it takes them. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hi, Hi, good come evening. In. Sorry there about this go. uh, dumplings. All good. We're All good. Ran out of it. Is there a dress code for the restaurant? Yeah, this thing does not fit. I look ridiculous. What was I thinking? <laughs> now, this is the restaurant. Tiski, I think it's called. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly in Polish, but it is a Polish beer. I kind of prefer like a special type of beers, like a little bit darker. Three out of five, I would say. Three out of five stars. Thank you so much. That looks amazing. Enjoy. I appreciate it. So this is the salmon tartare with some pickled onion, some lemon mayonnaise, some soy sauce, some honey in there. Oh wow. It's very pure, like very fresh. You can taste the salmon so well. So instead of being like any normal person, I decided to order two main dishes, you know, we're living the five-star hotel lifestyle. And the first one is some gnocchi with goat cheese and truffle sauce. And the second one is black tagliatelle with shrimp, tomato, parsley. Let's start with the gnocchi with goat cheese right here. Okay, it's pretty heavy. The size of the plate right now, everything on there is perfect. I, it shouldn't be more. But damn, that is so nice. By the way, I know this is not Polish food, but tomorrow we're gonna go outside of the hotel, walk around, show you guys around a little bit, and try three different really good dishes. Now we're gonna move on to the black tagliatelle, just to try that out. I just love prawns. That's good. I'm calling it now, the restaurant is five out of five stars. I completely understand that part of why this hotel's got five stars. This is amazing, staff is even nicer. That looks great, thank you Philippe, I appreciate it. So this is a tiramisu with some chocolate sprinkles on there, some raspberries, some blueberries. Mm, that is good. But the best part of this trip in this hotel is yet to come. So I'm heading to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I slept so well. This bed is great. It's a perfect mix between hard and soft. But now I think it's time for me to get up and check out that five-star gym to burn some calories after last night's feast. Ooh. Wait, this gym actually has a lot. Bench press, 
Implant press. Flies. This weird arm movement thing that I've never seen anyone use. Leg press. App cruncher. Leg extension. Chest press. Even more stuff to do abs. They even have kettlebells. Like this hotel gym actually has more equipment than most regular gyms. Start the epic workout montage. That was an amazing quick little bicep tricep workout. It was good. This the gym is definitely five out of five stars. Like it is massive around here. And now it's time to find out if that spot is also as good as they claim it to be. Oh. <laughs> I've always wanted to do one of those. That is a nice pull, guys. Damn, that is freaking huge right there. And also, if your muscles are gonna be a little bit sore like mine. A jacuzzi. God damn. I am liking the temperature in this jacuzzi. Oh, I swear that was not a fart. That was like, I swear that was air for my <laughs> shorts. I am all freshened up and ready to explore Warsaw. This is my first time actually in Poland and I felt like it would be a huge waste not to explore the city a little bit. I have some local foods obviously that's become a tradition on the channel right now and oh damn I completely forgot about that. There's quite a bunch of snow laying around everywhere. I've been in this hotel for about 16 hours now. I haven't really seen any sunlight but when I touched down here in Poland yesterday I basically saw that there was a huge snowstorm going on. I think it's gonna be a little bit chilly today but I'm hyped for it. I have made it to the city center of Warsaw and I am super impressed by the architecture here. Like these buildings right around me are absolutely beautiful. And the crazy thing is back during the second world war in 1944, Nazi Germany actually destroyed the majority of Warsaw, like museums, theaters, comedy clubs, churches, and basically everything they could. So everything had to be restored. From what I can see, it is absolutely beautiful and done so well. But it is a little bit cold, so I think it's time for us to try the first local Polish food. Hey, what is this place? Check out the ceiling. That is so cool. Obviously, I'm here to try some of the legendary Polish dumplings. <laughs> Which one would you recommend me to have? Okay, I would recommend one with meat and with duck, uh, with uh, plum and brown sugar on this, like a sweet version. All right, this is gonna be my first time trying out pierogi, which is <laughs> dumpling in Polish. This one is with meat, this plate, as you can see. Oh, it smells good. It smells very good. This is duck, by the way. Oh, that is really good. I genuinely feel like this is the perfect spot to go on a date on like a Friday or Saturday night or hang out with your friends. Like the vibe here is so cool and trendy, whatever that means. Like they even got a cool little robot picking up plates and stuff. Now I kind of forgot what was inside this one, but we're gonna find out in a second. Caramel and cinnamon, damn, that is sweet. That is a combination I've never ever had. Usually when I have dumplings, I think about Asian dumplings and apparently that's also where they inherited it from how it got here but ever since polish people who moved to the u.s for example really consider this a symbol of their pride like it's something a dish that they're very proud of so they try to make it very often from what i've read online now that is an absolute five out of five star rating this was so nice i never really expected these polish dumplings to be as good as they actually were so now i'm just gonna walk around town explore a little bit and then I'm gonna have a very, very strange and interesting dish that I'm sure you guys are gonna be surprised about. I wanna order this thing so bad, like, what even is that? This seems like a massive bowl of bread, right? But then, bam! It's completely filled with mushroom soup. Apparently this thing is only $6, so not only my hotel is very cheap here in Poland, but this massive soup bowl in bread as well. I have never had anything like this before in my entire life. This is also a very classic small Polish restaurant. It just feels very authentic. Like this is only like a two hour flight from Amsterdam where I live, 
but it feels like a completely different place. Like, it's so cool. To be very honest, I'm not the biggest fan of mushrooms. So yeah, for someone who's like a huge lover of mushrooms, it's probably 10 out of 10, like amazing. Very creamy, but I, I just don't really like mushrooms. But there's also another local Polish that I really want to try out. And let's just say it's unique. Massive pickles with cabbage. This place is called Podwale 25 Compania Pivna. There was quite a long line outside, but then someone came over, grabbed me because I was all by myself, and gave me this cute little table. Romantic dinner for one with a candlelight. Very nice. And then I was matched with a waiter, Philip. Um, Romper is the best Polish beer. It's tasty, it's elegant, and it's excellent. You must try this. Look at the size of my head versus this thing. Like, <laughs> oh man. Now, Philip and many others that I meet during these type of trips are the exact reason why I started this channel. Sometimes you might be afraid when you go outside of your comfort zone, like, hey, I'm not gonna meet nice people, or they're gonna be rude, or they won't like me. But if you treat people the way that you want to be treated yourself and enter a room with a massive smile, then the rest will start smiling as well. That is really my mindset. And I'm gonna try this massive pickle with cabbage. Like, what is this combination? Apparently, it is very classic here in Poland, like a super nice appetizer, but I'm not too sure about it. We're gonna find out. Oh. How am I supposed to eat this? Like, do I ma like do I cut it up and cut it in pieces or something? Or how so does it work? We yeah, eat the pickles and the cabbage for the vodka. Oh, vodka! Yeah. All right, I just got the vodka, cabbage, and pickle. Arguably the weirdest combination ever. Luckily, there is supposed to be some lemon in there, which is a classic Warsaw thing. Oh, that's actually good. Yo, what? Let's see if this matches. Oh, that's sour. My taste buds are getting hit left, right, and center right now. It is a fun thing to try for sure. I'm not sure if it's my favorite thing, but luckily I did get a massive plate from Philip. All types of different local meats here that are their specialty. Pork, pork, some sausages, a very dark sausage, I believe. And yeah, steak, I think, some chicken right here. I'm not gonna have to eat for like a solid two days after this. Let's try out this chicken first. That is so soft, it is ridiculous. And just the atmosphere around this restaurant, everyone is smiling. It is a very old classic building, I believe. It just feels very authentic. Wow, I'm really happy I helped buy this place. Whoa, this dark sausage is just completely falling apart as soon as you put your fork in it. What is that? Kashanka. Okay, Polish Kashanka. I have no idea what that is. I don't really think it's my, my cup of tea. I'm sorry for those who love it. Philip just came up to me off camera. I wasn't filming and told me what it means, what is inside of that dark sausage. And apparently it is blood of a pig mixed with rice. And now I feel kind of sick. Like, like oh, I'm never having that again. A minus five out of five stars. Ugh. Now that was an amazing local Polish experience. Off camera, Philip came up to me and gave me a small glass of red wine. Oh, <laughs> that is very sweet. It is safe to say I truly enjoyed every single second inside of there. And I'm heading back towards the hotel because I haven't finished my review. It's the five star hotel, the cheapest one in Europe actually worth five stars. Well, there is one more thing I gotta rate. The massage. This one costs about $70 additional on top of the 95 I spend a night, but it's an hour and I've never really had a massage. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. But to summarize the hotel and luxury level, I would say four stars in all honesty. I think the rooms definitely need an upgrade here and there. Service, absolutely phenomenal. Every single person in this hotel that I've spoken to has been nothing but super kind and I really really like that shout out to everyone that works here same goes for the restaurant all of the staff there was super nice this morning I got there at 11 which was their closing time I was wearing my bathrobe but they were still like yeah sure come in come in have some more food so that was really nice that deserves another five stars in my opinion when it comes to the facilities the only thing I'm kind of like missing is a sauna or maybe a Turkish steam bath that you can just 
walk into but hey it can't have everything in total i would rate this hotel four stars maybe four and a half and for now guys thank you for watching i strongly suggest you watch the video in which i ask flight attendants where they're going and let me tell you i end up in a very interesting location Thank you.